friends i hope you have watched the introductory video and volume 1 of the video in context of the score framework of the cbsc this is volume 2 of the same series and i hope that i have covered some faqs that will come up with different schools and the link of the previous two videos on the same series have been given in the description box there is a part of it which tells you the impact of the manual and which tells you about the spirit of score right right i think first couple of pages everybody should have read it and the domains also right you can go take one domain read it thoroughly and then we can have a collective meeting where every domain people they put up what is there in their domain yes so that we get an understanding it for now and uh, yes. particularly for our schools we don't have time right. otherwise the time frame is from april 1st to december 31st next we have to do it every year okay. next year our time frame will be 1st april to uh, 31st yes. december yes. so we will not be rushed right basically it is an overall school improvement plan right okay. every school wants to improve yes. yes now it has been mandated by cbse every school will do it right they will do it on pace they may do it in april they may do it in july they may do it in december right some clarifications are yet awaited from cbse yes. yes. but you said all the means are interlinked can you give an example uh see all the means are interlinked when there is a, a rating uh, <coughs> scale on which you uh, rate your school or what you are doing uh okay we say in inclusive practices our school we want to rate there are levels where the school is and there is no ranking no judgment of the school it is a non threatening document we don't need to fear even if i am at level 1 nothing to worry we can improve we can improve, <coughs> we can improve. nobody is going to brand us that they are on level 1 right there are different performance indicators given in the manual right according to those performance indicators we ourselves as a team will decide where are we supposing we feel in inclusive practices we are at level 1 first as a team we will have to understand what are inclusive practices supposing i say we follow inclusive practices right that means my infrastructure should be made according to them my curriculum should include all children with different needs do my lessons lesson plans have it right is my human resource like that do i have a specific mixture of everything are my children educated uh, to take care of children with uh, special needs are my parents receptive all domains are there see your domains are curriculum infrastructure human resource inclusive practices management and governance your management should provide everything and they should be okay with the vision of having an inclusive school so it will be visible every day yes yeah. same yeah. goes for everything you just give it a pause and give it a thought all are interlinked and the last one is leadership and beneficiary satisfaction now the leadership also has to see is my infrastructure lesson plan teachers yes. attitude yes. parent acceptance children uh, this thing involvement everything is in place as a leader leadership is involved then it comes beneficiary satisfaction beneficiary satisfaction again has to be on all levels okay admin parents teachers students leadership management everybody so we will have to work on that see one domain will be visible at so many different places yes so if you are doing it see not too much of documentation is required we are already doing it we are already doing a lot many things which should not be intimidating we are already doing so many things only our approach will now be different we will be a little more conscious about the learning outcomes we will be a little more conscious about connecting the dots in different domains right and we will also know what is the level of performance it takes where do i need to be so it will change every year yes I was thinking when uh, I read about it that it is contextual. I was thinking that giving a skill of uh, making a fishing net makes sense to a school 
which is in the coastal area. It does not make sense for yes. a school in Punjab. Yes. 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 Right? Yes. Now you understand? Yes. Okay. And then they have taken all kinds of schools. There will be schools like ours who have a total area of a little above two acres because that is the CBSC mandate. Yes. Right? There will be schools which will be having a sprawling complex or maybe 200 acres. Yes. It doesn't matter. There will be a school which has an amazing infrastructure, very fancy, latest buildings, all AC, and there will be a school in the rural with very few basic things. The core target is learning out. Yes. Now you get it? Yes. Okay. Any other question? Since we are doing all activities, then why do we need to do this squad, special squad project? See, as a school, as a community, we all want to grow. We all want to grow. We all want to improve. Right? We don't want to be stagnant at the same place. And especially CBSC wants everyone to grow. Right? If CBSC wants everyone to grow, it cannot just randomly give instructions that all should grow. It is now giving you a road map. It is a road map. Right? You go from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 to level 4. These are the performance indicators. There are seven domains. Each domain is divided into subdomains. Then of the subdomains you have standards. Then these standards to judge these or to rate yourself, you have performance indicators. You will understand this better when you go through the manual. Right? So if everybody wants to improve, then we need to do it. So now CBSC wants all the schools to improve across the world. It has schools in uh, out of uh, India also. So it has mandated. Okay. It will cover all kind of affiliations. Uh, fresh affiliations, switch over categories like ours is extension for affiliation and then there will be upgradation of affiliation. Some schools are in 10th standard and they want to any kind of affiliation you have to first fill the score self-assessment form. Automatically the site will take you there and then you have to Right? And is it similar to NAT which is occupied by students? Uh, initially I think uh, I was very happy and surprised to note that uh, when uh, CBSC had this uh, score concept coming up, a lot of research was done. All good policies and all good education systems all over the world was studied and then a gist was made, right? And yes, NAT was also taken up there. Like colleges have this uh, body which assesses the level of the college and they are accredited. Yes, yes. Now, because the document has to be non-threatening, it is school quality assessment and assurance, not accreditation. That is the difference. It is not like that. Yes, in some parts it is similar to some parts. It is non threatening. Nobody is going to rate you. So that is reassuring. That's it. Do we need to involve parents now? Like in the core learning team, we will be having more of children so that we can have their feedback. At least uh, fourth onwards, children from all age groups, right? And in some places, even the younger children can give the feedback, primary and pre-primary, right? Parents are very important stakeholders of the school. So we will need to involve them. We are already doing it. Yes, 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 yes. Parents are coming on the PTB. Yes. We have that verbal interactions with the parents. Somehow we are not documenting it. Yes. Every school has a PTB. Yes. Every school has some kind of function. Uh, in some schools, I would say that parents come on events. Yes. We can invite parents in different capacities. When we know that parents have to be a partner in growth, we will find ways and means to involve them. Right? And then we will know, okay, here we have pictures, here we have signatures of parents. Somewhere they should reflect in our systems. Right? So now we will start planning how we can. We will do it in a more systematic way. That is the only difference. Because initially when we read the document and in the core team, everybody was of the same opinion that already we are doing so much. Yes. We have our hands full and uh, this is a new thing. It is not a new thing. Only the perspective is changed. We are doing most of the things we are doing. 
and if we are not doing, we can see where where we are on which level. We can always do.